Hey guys, it's High School Mac here today with another custom ROM review. Today is OMFGB by Tahaxor, if I'm saying that right. It's a great ROM. It's got lots of cool built-in features that I really like. I'm going to start off with God Mode. This is probably my number one favorite feature. So in God Mode, they have lots of cool stuff built in. Um, number one, you have Bolton Board, which is like an app where the developer part of their app where the developers send out stuff for the ROM users to see and read so if they need to tell them something. Um, also they have an add-ons so add-ons for the ROM which could be which are Google Apps, Wallpapers, MIUI Camera, a bunch of kernels um, and then a bunch of themes people have made so you have lots of options to customize your phone and the ROM. Um, next you can um, flash nightlies in different builds right from within this app which is nice and makes it really easy and less time consuming and you can also do your like normal launcher settings lock screen settings lock screen is cool because they have a bunch of built in lock screens that you can do and I'm actually using a honeycomb run right now and I'll show you that and here so it's just a honeycomb lock screen it's really good it works really fast just pull up no lag at all. That one's really cool. So you have your lock screen options and you can set your lock screen timeout. All the normal stuff you can do with a lot of the AOSP ROMs. And now their UI settings and status bar settings. The status bar settings, there's a lot of cool customizations you can do in here. I actually have some running right now. I have the MIUI um, battery percentage up in the top and that's the white bar going across. I really like that one. Uh, I also have the clock centered which is cool and just no battery icon but just the percent. I just like the way it looks and there's also lots of options for other people like color and just a bunch of different options. It makes the ROM um, really nice and customizable. It's a fast AOSP ROM when opening apps and doing stuff. I do not like the size of the keyboard. This is actually the same keyboard as from CyanogenMod 7. And that's probably, I know it's kind of silly, but one of the main reasons that I haven't been running these as daily drivers. I like the bigger keyboard, which is present in Liquid Thunder Bread. It just makes it easier to do all your typing on your phone than these, the smaller one. But what I would really like to see them do then is add like a flashable one, which is which you can flash the bigger size keyboard in the God Mode app. That would be a really cool feature, I think. Other than that, though, this ROM's solid. Um, I have to say it's probably my second favorite AOSP ROM, and it could sure be my first with just a few changes. Um, I'm going to say great job to the developers. It's a really well-built ROM, and it's a really popular ROM, and it's on a lot of devices, so I'll post a link in the description to their website and the ROM for the Thunderbolt on Rootsweeky and a few other places where you can check it out. So... Check this ROM out, guys. It's a really nice ROM. I'm sure many of you will be happy with it. As always, comment, like, and subscribe, guys. See ya.